Usha Sangwan may be the first to reach the top in state insurer LIC, but women have done well in the banking and finance sector in India. Look at India's top banks, and many are headed by women, and this cuts across the public and private sector. So why has the sector managed to develop so many women leaders? Uh, see, I won't generalize it that it is uh, easier for women in any other sector or in one sector or the other sector. I believe in the capability of women. They will do well in any sector given the opportunity. Uh, in finance sector, we see many women coming up because see uh, these all these women who are at the helm of the affairs in financial sector mostly they started their career in 80s 80 or uh, mid 80s uh, at that point of time the opportunities were either you know doctors engineers or civil services or banks and lic so uh, in these sectors you you'll find many doctors also at the uh, shods and all many many lady doctors and you'll find uh, many in civil services also but somehow because in banking and life insurance women were totally absent earlier so they are more visible at this point of time and they could reach at the helm of affairs over the years have you seen a generational shift in the way women approach their work within a place like lic or do you think a lot of things remain the same if you're a woman uh, i wouldn't say in the lic perspective in the new generation i see they they, they are very sure they have to work this they don't think they have a choice to sit at home uh, that they are very clear and i believe the women in the next generation the girls in the next generation they're very confident of themselves uh, in our generation we were slightly submissive that okay everything you have to see how others will think of you the next generation they're very sure of themselves they're very sure of their uh, targets they know the world better and they are much better decision makers i believe mm. they have taken charge of their life in a much more responsible manner. Mm. You see that with your daughter? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You see Absolutely. that difference? I mean, mm. when you were her age, what was the difference between you and her when you approached work? Uh, I, I, I see a lot of difference. I was happy-go-lucky. Whatever comes my way, I'll take it, do well in that. And, uh, you know, uh, that is how I grew. But she, she will plan. She is very clear what she wants in life. And uh, she, like me, she'll give her 100%, more than 100% to work. And she's very sincere to office as well as uh, her family life. Uh, but she's clear about her objectives, what she wants they're in life. They're more confident mm -hmm. and they know more about what absolutely, they want. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. My other question is the fact is that 65% uh, of women fall off the workspace between the junior to mid management. That is the tough area. What can organizations do to retain women, you think? I, I fully appreciate many. I mean, Having said that organizations are gender neutral, but they can do a lot. My first uh, take on this will be no country can progress unless the 50% of the population that is women are contributing to the growth story. And that is right now not happening in our country. So it's, I think, uh, national, social, moral responsibility of the society, of the corporates, of the governments to ensure that women are a part of workforce. So their corporates definitely can do a lot. Uh, when I look at my journey, the, the, the position could be, where do you leave the small child? In our times, the maternity leave was only uh, three months. That also 45 days you have to take before the delivery of the child. So after the really? child, absolutely, you won't 45, believe it. 45 days before? Well, 45 days before you, that? Huh? Why can't you have a choice in that? Most people would Earlier take it in that. the there. rule was rule. You know, uh, rules must have been made by some men only who won't understand the, the need, biological need of a mother and a child. Yeah. So only after delivery, you get only 45 days. And you just imagine leaving a child of 45 days coming back to work. Whereas uh, medically also you say that six months you have to uh, feed the child. So those critical areas, uh, the, if there are women in decision making positions, maybe they will be more uh, sympathetic and they will understand those issues more. That is one thing. And secondly, corporates, uh, that is when the child is very, very small. Preschool again, where does she leave the children? In metros, I see women, uh, I have actually seen the cases where a woman has to lock up the child at home and come to office. There's nobody to look after. So can we provide some crutches there? I think corporates can also look at five days a week where women can give more time to family and increase the other five days uh, working hours. 
uh, many transportation facility should be provided to women so that even if they are working till late, uh, they reach home safely. Internationally, you know, a lot of formulas have worked. Mm. For example, flexi hours. You know, mm -hmm. uh, why aren't we looking towards that? And and even while I see some private sector companies doing it, public sector companies, I don't see them doing this at all. You know, it, it's quite old-fashioned in that yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's changing, or would you would you say that that needs to be changed? It needs to be changed definitely, and it will change only if more women are there in the decision-making stage who can understand these issues and uh, who can relate to that. And second reason for public sector not adopting that fast to evolving societies is public sectors are more or less driven by very set systems and processes. You need, uh, you know, the, the compliance or uh, understanding of all the factions related with the organization for uh, taking some decision. So it's not very easy to change public sectors. Uh, there you need somebody with conviction who, who understands that this is important, this is uh, required, and can communicate with all the uh, sects of the organization and take it forward. As the MD of LIC, mm. what, what was your agenda going to be? Because, you know, the, everybody looks up to you saying that, you know, hey, first MD, of uh, woman MD of, of uh, organization the size of LIC. What's on your agenda? Uh, for first agenda, definitely my organization has to be uh, not only at the national level, we have to be the best. We are looking at international uh, arena also. Second agenda, yes, uh, within the organization also, I'll say we have a huge agency force, 12 lakh agents. Uh, somehow that profession is still not very, you know, the first option for any graduate coming out. So uh, personally, I would like that to ensure it's a, it's a very good profession, uh, particularly for ladies, I would say. It's mm. a profession where you can have flexi timings, you can earn as much as you want, you can be very good financial advisors to families, you can give financial security to families, and you can work whenever you want. So uh, to put this profession at a very res respectable stage, uh, that is another agenda. Uh, so for women are concerned, definitely I like that more and more women should come uh, in the main light. They should accept promotions, and if organization at all can help, I'll definitely be the front runner there. You think women are not taking up challenges enough? When you say women should take promotions, is there a tendency that the moment it becomes a little stressful, it becomes outside their comfort zone, the tendency is to say backing, back off and say, no, I don't want to do it? Many times, yes. Many times, uh, unfortunately, uh, yes. Uh, maybe there we have to counsel them, we have to train them also, so that they can communicate with their families well. And, uh, uh, create uh, alignment with between the thinking of the family that's and their own important. careers. You, yeah. you, you believe that's very important because very it's important. not just the woman who takes a decision, it's the family that takes a decision. It's always better. If, if you want to take a decision on your own and your family is not happy with it, I don't think that's going to give happiness to the women also. Unless uh, you, you have a happy family, you can't have a happy work life. If you are yourself, you, you have confidence in yourself, you believe in your ideas, uh, nothing can stop you.